السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back with the new lecture with method validation If you want to compare between two methods One reference method which is already validated method And another method which is developed and validated inside the lab You have some statistical approaches such as F-test and T-test Today's lecture inshallah will be around F-test F-test is a statistical approach used to compare between the variances of two groups of samples analyzed by two methods. If you have two methods, one reference method, and another method which is developed inside the lab or in-house method, and you want to confirm that you can get accurate and reliable results by using this method. This method already validated. So, you will prepare 10 replicate of samples. Spiked with known concentration. These 10 replicates will be analyzed by reference method and also by lab developed method. You will get the results on, from the instrument. Then you will calculate standard deviation for each group, which is equal to square root submission, individual results for each result, minus the average for all between all results, divided by n minus 1 degree of freedom, or number of replicates, 10, which is 10, minus 1, so equal to 9. And then you will calculate the variance for each group variance for each group, which is equal to the square root of standard deviation. Standard deviation, square root of standard deviation. Then you will calculate F experiment. F experiment will be equal to the variance for group one square root of the variance, square root of the variance for group 1, divided by square root of the variance for group 2. But you should take care that here, you will add the larger value. And here, you will add the smaller value. And the results will be always positive. After you will calculate F experimental, which is equal to the square root of variance for group 1 divided by the square root of variance for group 2. Here you will select the larger variance and here the smaller variance. Calculated F value, which is F experimental, will be compared with tabulated F value that you will get from F table, which is F critical, at confidence level 95%. Or we can say 5% level of significance. 5% level of significance means that the risk of accepted items to be outside the limit less than or equal to 5% and the risk of rejected items to be inside the limit is less than or, so, or equal to 5%. Then you will compare between F experimental and F critical. If the F experimental you calculated less than F critical value that you will get from the table, so there is no significant difference between the two variances. But if the F experimental higher than F critical value, so there is a significant difference between these two variances. So conclusion for that F test used to find out whether the two independent estimates of population variances differ significantly or not. That will be by analysis of replicate of spiked samples by two methods, one reference method and another method which is developed and validated inside the lab. Then you will calculate the variance, the variance between these results using these two methods. Then you will calculate F experimental. And you will compare F experimental with the F tabulated value from the table F critical value. And if F experimental lower than F critical, in this case, there is no significant difference between the variance of two methods, and you can use lab developed method, and you ensure already that this method can be used to get accurate and reliable results, but if the F experimental will be higher than F critical value, in this case, you cannot use this method, or you can try to develop again this method. Not only to compare between two methods, reference method and lab developed method, 
but also you can use if this to compare between two in instrument you can do the same steps also to compare between two in instrument one old in instrument and another new in instrument here is how to calculate if test or if experimental using the excel sheet i prepared seven replicates to be analyzed by reference method and lab developed method the results are here then you will calculate the standard deviation for both of them Then the variance, which is equal to the square root of standard deviation, if test, if experiment, which is equal to the larger variance divided by the smaller variance. Here is the larger variance divided by the smaller variance equal to 1.8. From the F table, this is the F experimental, F table, you can get for six degree of freedom. We analyzed seven replicates, so degree of freedom equal to six. So for six degree of freedom, from the group one, six degree of, degree of freedom here, and from the group two, six degree of freedom. So you will get this risk for six degree of freedom for group one, and six degree of freedom for group two, you will get 4.28. This is the F Critical F critical from the table equal to 4.28. So F experimental will less than F critical from the table. So there is no significant difference between the two variances, and you can use lab developed method. If you want also to compare between two instruments, old instrument and instrument and the new instrument to analyze the same target analytes using the same method, you can do the same thing to get to compare between the variances. And if you get if experimental lower than or less than if critical, in this case you can use the old instrument and it will give you the same performance. Also you can get you can calculate if test using data analysis from Excel sheet here. Data, open data analysis. If test two sample four variances, okay. Then you will select the result for group results for group one or reference method, and you will select the results you got by the lab developed method. Then for alpha alpha, which is the level of significance, the risk of accepted items to be outside the limit less than or equal to 5% or 0 0.05 and the risk of rejected items to be inside the limit less than or equal to 5% output range where you will add this the result of this uh, this calculation you can select here and okay this is the table if experimental 1.8 if experimental 1.8 Variant uh, if critical 4.28, if critical 4.28. Here is the average for group one, group two, variance group one, group two, same like here. And observation number of replicates you analyzed and degree of freedom that you got for each group. If one point, as we said before, here is how to calculate using the table that you will prepare and also how to calculate using the excel sheet the excel sheet from data if you didn't find this data analysis icon you can if you open your excel sheet maybe you will not find you can open file and options here add ends you will select add ends here excel add ends and you click go and you can add or remove whatever you want. You will add analysis this this option. This one you will add, and you will get this one also. You will add, and you will get data analysis. That was the end of our lecture for today. Inshallah, next lecture will be around t-test calculation. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next lecture. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.